right, so this next phonics lesson, again, we're working with our letter U, and you're gonna take out your Scholastic Phonics booklet that looks like this. Okay, so go ahead and slip this up. Make sure, boys and girls, you've got your name on the front, okay? That's really important. You don't have to write your name on this page, but on the front. So here again, we have our unicorn U, umbrella A. Uh, it is a vowel that makes two sounds. And we're going to go ahead and start by tracing in this part right here. So take your pencil and just come down, back up, down. Just go down, back up, down. It starts at the dotted line, straight down, curve up and then give it a little tail right there. So now you're gonna write it by yourself four times after practicing that. Come down, curve up, and then bring your, give it that little tail. Swing down, curve up, give it a little tail. Swing down, curve up, give it a little tail. Straight down, curve up, and give it a little tail. How'd you do? How was that? I hope it was okay for you. It's a, um, sometimes can be a little bit of a tricky letter. And remember, it's an upside down N, right? Okay, so down here, speaking of upside down Ns, so upside down U is, ha, is open at the top. So when you come down here, don't get tricked. Make sure you circle each U and that it's open at the top, okay? So the A is closed at the top, so the A can't be it. Here's open at the top, U, open at the top, U, open at the top you that's closed at the top it is that is an n okay so we can cross that off okay so over here let's go to the next section this is where you can use crayons or markers it says find each lowercase u color that shape purple then color the rest of the picture okay so let me find my purple crayon Okay, here it is. All right, I have one here, one here, one here. Nope, remember that's closed at the top, so that's an N. Open at the top, open at the top, open, at, closed at the top, that's a C. Okay, just right here. So now I can go ahead and color all these pieces that I circled. And today's picture is revealed. And that would be our purple beach umbrella. Well, at least for me, I'm imagining it's a beach umbrella. Although on a rainy day, those are great to have if you're gonna go outside, right? I'm trying to find my light colored crayon. Here we go. I'm gonna color everything around it like the sandy day at the beach or you can color gray around yours if you want like your it's it's a rainy day I guess but I want to imagine that it's although I love the rain and I'm really glad we have rain because without the rain we couldn't have a lot of things growing so the, the rain and plus it drops snow in the mountains and we need a lot of snow in the mountains to help us have fresh water too so that's really really important to have the rain as well that's it. I'm finished coloring my umbrella in the sand. I'm gonna give myself an exit ticket. Okay, how'd you do? I hope you enjoyed this lesson, boys and girls. Now, before I finish, I'm gonna show you where to put this away. And the dot on this one is down here. That means it goes into this folder here, the, the dark blue or black dot right there, okay? That just gets put away and we're done.